but alright everyone, here we are with a new deck recipe that you might have seen in some of my videos. Uh, let's see, so this is my Fiend Comedian Light Swords, but we'll get to that point one later on the thing. Uh, thing to keep in mind is that I had to take out Exol because of the Danless on Death Pro change, so yeah, and I think this was a Sandgin, but I switched it out for, or no, I switched the, the other song for that, for Plague, since Plague's pretty good. You can play, uh, Necro Cardinals, which, before we start with it, let's do Necro Card. One, two, three. There we go. I made a little side deck. Okay. Anyway, so let's start off. We got three JDs, Judgment Dragons. We have four different Light Swords. Four different Light Sword names. Like, Garoth, Wolf, Lila, and Jane. Then you can special summon it. Uh. You pay 1,000 life points, destroy the whole field, like Heavy Storm and Dark Bolt. Um, next we have two Gear Freeze. I could run Trade in. I think, but it's nice. We run two Gear Freeze. You'd still be with a 2,800 meter. You can special summon it. Uh, once returned, during either player's turn, once spell or trap activated, you can banish one warrior from here. Very graveyard negate the activation, but you're mostly having this sort of beating purposes. Then most of these in here aren't warrior, I don't think. Next we got one Diablo. Uh, target one. Oh yeah, it can send one set card back to the top or the bottom of that. Um. We have one light raid, the the Ad the Adelus. I do not know how to pronounce that. But you can target a field spell, kill their cards, and destroy them. Uh, yeah. So you can basically swarm with all these if you have enough light, which is mostly how this deck kind of runs. Garoth, only one run, uh, one, because all it's, that's for you is piercing, so, yeah, you don't really need more than one, I don't think. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's the, uh, I run two, mainly destroy stuff, and you can cost no four, two wolves, you can run three, I run two, because you can end up drawing one of these. And they're very dead drunk like if you don't have anything to get rid of them. Like Lila, Solar Recharge, um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I've got Monster Recharge, whatever. One, two, Garros. Basically, every time a Light Swarm activates, you send the top two cards of the deck. Draw one for each Light Swarm that was sent to the grave. Jane is one of those that I run two of them. I just run one. It gains 300 and it attacks. And you mill two. Isla gets sent to defense after you activate the fact. You can destroy a spell or trap and you mill three at the phase. This one, you don't need more than. You could run more than two, but I don't run more than two. Shuffle. Okay. So you uh, have a defense position monster on your front side field, or if they set one or whatever, this will bounce it back, getting over Knowing Marsh and Spirits. Spirit Reaper, I mean. Since those are the most constantly seen ones, then no tie defense if people actually run them. Honest. I got. Uh, I don't see a reason why not. You drop it when you attack and you gain your opponent's monster's attack. This, your opponent's Light Sworn can't be targeted, or your Light Sworn can't be targeted by spells, traps, or card effects. 
two Lumina's. I mean, I can run three, but I think two is a decent amount. Discard one card. This best with level one level four lower light sworn. Which with this you can discard Wolf, special Lila or Lumina from the grave. Discard another and get another one of these. Then you can make um, Zen Lane. You could make uh, I don't know how many level threes I have actually. One plague because Fall Warning was token down to one. I put them in there so you can make Taster, Black Rose, Scrap, Stardust, uh, Double Raikou. You can destroy stuff and you can set them. Your opponent usually wouldn't suspect this until they know you're playing Light Sword. So. And you mill three. Next, we have so a recharge, discard one to draw two, and mill two. One heavy storm, destroy back row, power fabrics, return five, and draw two. One monster reborn to reborn monster from either player's graveyard. This mill the top three, add a light storm, you're usually going to add Raikou, Lumina, or Lila. Rarely you'll add the other you put dualities just in case you can get dead draws, but you won't be able to stretch summon, so keep that in mind. Now, the main card of uh, Trap of the Deck is being Comedian. Classic Coin, card. If you call it right, your opponent's monsters all get banished from the grave. If you call it wrong, you mill the amount of cards that they have in the grave. So, it can benefit you, and it can. Hurt you too if they have like a bunch of cards in the grave, then you'll probably attack it out. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of like Marco, how Marco Rabbit has the Marco Cosmos, so it can hurt a lot of decks that rely on a grave. So, you know, I thought it was interesting to have this. I know the picture was different last time I saw it, but whatever. Lice, two Lice Worm Barriers, because I'm playing traps. Uh, a few comedians, so I might as well put some traps in there. Uh, your opponent usually never sees this coming, but when your opponent attacks a life form monster, you can build a top two cards and negate an attack, which is really good. Because <laughs> if you can mill wolf and you can mill all these random things, then you can special summon all these big beaters out. Uh, you can. Oh, yeah, wait, one more time. Oh, no. Okay. One solemn judgment because well, it's limited to one and it'll negate pretty much anything. Solemn warning, I was at two, but they limited it to one, so 50,000 to negate the summon if it's by effect of a spell, trap, just regular special summoning, or by effect monster. Here, keep in mind, solemn judgment can't do that, but solemn warning can. That's why it, that's why it works on drill warriors and whatever, because it negates that. For extra deck, I didn't really put too much into there. Cataster gets over the random stuff, like BLS and whatever. Black Rose, Nuke to Field, Scrap Dragon, Tribute 1, Destroy a Card, Stardust, Negate stuff from being destroyed, Bylon, Take Monster, Negate attack, prevent mirror force, prevent traps and spells, flip our face down, destroy or send stuff to the grave like Zen main or Gachi, stop such summoning, flip stuff face down, and attack it over it, burn the rest of your opponent's life points, they have low life points, and you can attack over stuff, to destroy stuff, and put up a defense. Give your monsters attack. These are only three that gotcha can be made, so that's why there's one. Green Echo Garden, uh, you can replace whatever. So, yep. Hope you like the deck recipe, and I'll see ya. Dragon Spit Spice, signing out.